lockdown, prisons, and the destruction of the church and the West. Please! We have to do this. We have to. I have to do the one with Lauren Southern. It's been a tough couple of years. The lockdowns, the malaise, all the election nonsense. That we lose Trump, we get this guy. It hasn't been a year let yet, Michael. I know COVID time is hard, but Michael, it hasn't been a year yet. This is 30 minutes. Oh shit, it's 30 minutes. Shit, it's 30 minutes. Okay, we're gonna put it on double speed. Fuck it, we're doing it on double speed. Fuck you. <laughs> half asleep and destroying the world. And it's just been and one of one of the worst aspects of it all was the disappearance of Lauren Southern. I always really loved watching Lauren's commentary. And then she made the fair enough decision to go off, start a family, pull back a little bit from public life. I understand she did what she had to do. Well, you know what? She's back. She is back, and she has a unique perspective because she left one hellscape in the Anglosphere. For the first time, for the first time, Michael Knowles has been correct. Who is dumber, Michael Knowles or Matt Walsh? I blame Ben Shapiro for sucking up all the oxygen from the Daily Wire studio. Oh, Michael Knowles is dumber, but Matt Walsh is emptier. So like, Michael Knowles has a personality of some sort, even though he's very stupid, but Matt Walsh is like a vacuum. Like, he is stupid, don't get me wrong, but like, he doesn't, he has like an, an empty hole where his personality is, so he just sucks the fun out of every room. And also he's like, addled. Like, he's a hollow husk, yeah. No, Matt Walsh, Matt Walsh is not like even divorced dad vibes. Matt Walsh is like, Matt Walsh is guy who wishes that he was a divorced dad vibes. He, he had, he once had, he once had like a wild trip back in like the, the 80s where he, he dropped a bunch of acid and he had a vision in which he got married to this beautiful woman and then she divorced him and he became an alcoholic in a motel that lived in a motel and then he woke up and he was still Matt Walsh. That's the type of person Matt Walsh is. Matt Walsh is a guy who dreams of being a divorced guy. For Canada, America's hat, for apparently another one, which is still locked down even down under. Lauren, thank you very much for coming on. Thanks for having me. I was really enjoying my hiatus, my family, all of it, but you guys really dropped the ball. Things have just gone sideways the last year and a bit. And you felt oh much, like, much like Pacino in Godfather Part 3. Just when I think I'm out, they pulled me back in. Hoo and he did. And so it's, it's gone really crazy. I want your perspective on, on two stories that I think Americans don't, don't really know very much about. I, I don't even know where to begin. Let's begin in America's hat, your former country. They're burning down churches all throughout Canada, and no one's, no one's really talking about it. Yeah, other than a brief mention from Trudeau weeks after it started happening, and we're not talking about So... Oh, so this is just the current talking point. See, this is one of the problems. Oh. We got to do we got to do oppo research more frequently. Oh, just one or two churches here. We're talking about dozens of organized arson and vandalism attacks against churches. One evening, there were 10 attacks against churches in one province. And all this is happening because there have been mass graves that were discovered of indigenous people in Canada. Now. Oh! Whoa! What did she just say? What did she just say? Am I wrong? And all this is happening because there have been mass graves that were discovered of- Oh, I have to get this to Lance. Oh, <laughs> she fucked up. Uh oh, uh oh, oh no, no, no. Oh no, 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 no. I'm getting this to Lance right now. Oh, Lance is gonna have fun with this one. <laughs> oh, Lauren shoots herself in the foot again. Oh boy, I'm sorry, I'm having a good time. I'm losing it right now. All right, there we go. <laughs> I can't believe we fucking caught her. This was from? August 3rd. This is from just seven days ago. All right, I'm gonna slow it down. All right, I'll slow it down. It was funny, but oh my God. Tax against churches in one province. And all this is happening because there have been mass graves that were discovered of indigenous people in Canada. Now, we don't actually have much information on these mass graves. We've just found graves. We haven't investigated why they were there, whether they 
uh, occurred because there was a disease outbreak. In fact, one of the mass graves found in British Columbia, which resulted in churches being attacked, was discovered to just be... Resulted in churches being attacked. First of all, you have not established any evidence of what what of what caused any of this church shit. Secondly, this is this is what we call just asking questions. Once again, this is the exact same thing that we saw in the conversation with Lance. An overgrown graveyard that they knew was a graveyard, but the media just went off with it. Mass grave. This is a genocide with no further. You just said that was one of the many and also it's a graveyard full of dead children, you fucking clown. Investigation or professionals looking into it. And of course, people are saying that these attacks are justified. This is revenge against the Catholic Church who ran residential schools that indigenous people went to in the 1800s. And indigenous people were forced to go to, Lauren. And earlier 1900s to essentially assimilate them to the English culture when they came over. I don't think the residential schools were a good thing, but is hate crimes today, the right reaction to hate crimes 100 years ago or well, 50 I, I, years ago? I want to pause you there just for people because I'm not particularly familiar with this either. So there were these hate crimes 100 years ago well, or 50 I, 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 years ago? I want to pause you there just. This is the face of when you re when you don't realize you just fucked up real bad. Look at this. Oh, my God. God, Lauren has, is so fucking sad. Oh for people, because I'm not particularly familiar with this either. So there were these residential schools that were largely run by the church to assimilate the Native American, not Native American, the Native Canadians, the, the indigenous first peoples to the dominant Canadian culture. And uh, mm -hmm. so I, I understand that, by the way, in principle. I'm not even opposed to assimilation in principle. If you're gonna have a country, you need people to assimilate into that country. But this is somewhat controversial because what? Because This is somewhat controversial? Dude, what the fuck? When you when you out Nazi Lauren Southern and you try to sell yourself as the intellectual dark web guy, dude, what the fuck? Was of First Nation sovereignty and the uh, the Canadians stole our land? Is that the argument? Well, the idea that they were forcing them out of their traditional cultures, and of course there was abuse also found at some of these residents. Oh, <laughs> just some abuse. Schools. And he's uh, like, oh, yes, of course, that's what I was looking for. I'm excited about that part, says Michael Nels. Whether it be sexual or physical abuse, but also something that should really be understood by people jumping up and down about this is most boarding schools at that time in history were rife with abuse, right. no matter who was going there. I mean, I was just reading surprise. Yeah, but guess what? Most residential schools, which were run by the churches, were rife with abuse. And guess who they put? in the schools natives what whoa oh uh, what as by joy by c.s lewis and he went to a really wealthy boarding school where he talks about abuse occurring but yeah. i mean he, he was a bit too pale for us to care about that right he he has a published book about it you fucking ghoul he has a fucking book published about it you ghoul everybody knows about that what are you fucking talking about? Also, C.S. Lewis was in the UK, you moron. And and yeah, so people are burning down churches as revenge. And the shocking I know, part, Xerox, too, we talked about this. is some of these churches aren't even like Anglo-Catholic churches. A lot of them are on residential indigenous land. So they are actually... When you say something that doesn't make any sense, but you need to make people feel very emotional about it. Huh. Some of these are were built on native land. Y yes. Y y what what the fuck do you mean? Yes, obviously. That, that that doesn't make them a native church, you idiot. Indigenous churches. So not only did some of these people have to be descendants of family members who were in residential schools, but now they have woke people today burning their churches down to try to I don't know, save them. Woke people burning down their churches. Okay, dude from past it, it makes no sense it makes you're no right it doesn't make any sense make it make sense to me make it make sense to me tony it doesn't make no sense make it make sense oh sense and you have verified checkmark liberals all over twitter saying they love this saying they support this so oh yeah can we see one citation of that how many i would love to see the the, the army of verified woke liberals cheering on the burning of churches i've never seen that ever in fact, wait a second, 
we have a contradiction, everybody. Remember when Michael Knowles just earlier in the video said that no one has heard about this? So which one is it? Has no one talked about this? Or are liberals all over Twitter cheering it on? Which one is it? Is it that no one is talking about it? Or is it that every liberal on the planet is cheering it on? Which one? You can't have both. Those are contradictory statements. This is how lazy right-wing propaganda is. They will literally contradict themselves. But that's because most right-wingers can't remember for more than two minutes, and we're four minutes in. See, I am lucky because I, I can think and I can remember things more that happened more than three minutes ago, but the average conservative cannot. Fun, fun, fun fact. You have the sort of pro-native Canadian first peoples arson against the churches. At the same time, you've got the government going in because of the COVID police shutting down churches, shutting down services. There was a very famous latest Polish Canadian pastor, uh, Pavel uh, Pavlovsky was, was his name? Or no, oh, Arthur, Arthur Pavlovsky. Arthur Polish Pavlovsky. last names. <laughs> yes, no, he, and he, he was tremendous. And he yelled and he said, get out. Or no, oh, Arthur, Arthur Pavlovsky. Arthur Polish Pavlovsky. last names. <laughs> yes, no, he, and he, he was tremendous. God, fucking Lauren Southern's dramatic facial expressions are just golden to me. Like, look at this. Just the, the face of, this is just, it's fucking Titan face. It's the same thing that Mar Marjorie Taylor Greene. Yeah, Attack on Titan. Yep. And he yelled, he said, get out, you Gestapo. Out of this property, you Nazis. Out. Out. Gestapo is not allowed here. And there, there are now suggestions <laughs> that religious freedom in... What? What is this? What? Out, you Gestapo. Out of this property, you Nazis. Out. Out. Gestapo is not allowed here. And there, there are now suggestions that religious freedom in Canada and the ability to practice Christianity is being threatened as it is in, in other nefarious countries like communist China, for instance. So, so you've got this threat, and I can't help but notice, no matter who what? the radicals are, whether they're radical indigenous activists, whether they're radical leftists in the government, whether it's the Jacobins, whether it's the communists, whether it's, they always seem to go after the churches throughout history. What's that about? Yeah, yes, corporeal entity, because so, my facial expressions are awesome, and her facial expressions are cringe and, uh, and not genuine. Absolutely. At first, I want to point out, these radical indigenous activists, in a lot of cases, are actually white people claiming they stand up for the indigenous. There have been videos that have come out, and it's like 22 years Citation, uh, there have been some videos. Your old white women privileged attacking the churches. It always is, isn't it? <laughs> saying they stand for, stand for the indigenous people, who are actually the chiefs in Canada, are begging people to stop this. But the white kids have to oh, stand totally. up for them and save the day by burning down their churches. Did she say, aren't their Polish last name? Yes, she did. Yes, she fucking did. But yeah, it's, it's this attack against Christianity, because Christianity is the antithesis of everything they stand for, in my opinion. My face is the is the is the the golden beacon that brings you entertainment lauren's face is the cringy is the cringy uh fucking f the, the cringy mask of death that barely ekes out a fucking expression so that she can squeeze out her pathetic fucking white supremacist propaganda and they stand for uh absolutely no restrictions on our personal desire, no morality to constrict what we want to do, no matter how sinful what? or how harmful to other people. They Wait, what? What is she talking about? It is the antithesis of everything they stand for, in my opinion. They stand for uh, absolutely no restrictions on our personal desire, no morality. So wait a second, indigenous activists stand for no restrictions on our personal did she, did she get her talking points mixed up? Did did she get her talking points mixed up? This sounds like a this sounds like the, the anti-gay thing. Ability to constrict what we want to do no matter how sinful or how harmful to other people. They stand what was sinful and for cancel culture so that people should just be cut off from society, cut out, irredeemable. Christ is that what cult cancel culture is? And redemption is quite literally the antithesis hmm. of cancel culture. Good point. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, everybody, I'm so sorry. I can't do this. Listen. Oh my god, my Christian side 
comes back out sometimes. My Christian past comes back when I hear people like this go, Jesus Christ came to earth to defeat cancel culture. If you really think about it, you know, God is the opposite of cancel culture. Do you know how sacrilegious that is? Like, if you're a serious Christian, that frivolity, saying that, that Jesus Christ is the opposite of cancel culture, is so sacrilegious. That is, that is so offensive to anybody who's ever had actual faith in the Bible. And I have. And I don't, because fuck that. But <laughs> if you were, a, if any serious believer would never let that come between their lips, you would never compare God to Twitter canceling. Are you fucking kidding me? Do you all, you, do you all remember? Do you all remember when the Romans, uh, when the Romans deleted Jesus's Twitter account? <laughs> It was, he got banned from YouTube, and he couldn't post shorts anymore. And they can't have that. They need conservatives, they need Christians, they need these people to be irredeemable, separate from them, so that they can be seen as the saints and the heroes. They are the good ones fighting against the irredeemable Nazis in our society. And also, they're out of Nazis. I mean, I'm sure they exist somewhere, but they're in swamps in Alabama. Dun, 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 da, 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 da. I'm sure they exist somewhere, Lauren. 1488 bracelet Lauren, 1488 Tiffany bracelet Lauren. We love it. They're right here in front of us, Lauren. I don't know. Last time I checked, you weren't living in Alabama. Looks like they live. They exist in Australia as well. Uh, and they don't have any power in society, so they keep having to find new things to label the ultimate enemy. Wait, they don't have any. Wait, hold on. Wait, this is the Nazi shit. She's doing the Nazi shit right now. Listen, they just talked about how the communists are coming for the churches. But now she's saying they don't have any societal power, and so they are desperately and impotently canceling people. So which is it? Is the entire world cheering on the burning of churches in the name of a sinful lifestyle, or are these impotent people who don't do anything? Pick one. Pick one. Yes, exactly. The enemy is both strong and weak. Typical Nazi bullshit. And right now, that is the church, and it is the perfect enemy because, because it is the one thing that is a mirror to their immorality and a mirror to the wrongdoing they have been inflicting on the West. It's a great point, and I, I've long seen this radical leftism as just an inversion of Christianity throughout even... Do you have a, do you have an innie or an outie? Is your Christianity an innie or an outie? even up to its ultimate sacrament, which is abortion, which I think it was Peter Kreeft who made the point, even uses the language- Peter Kreeft? That's not right. That's wrong. Of the Eucharist. This poor is Poor dude. Oh, what a poor guy. Oof. My body uh, as a way to defend this, this uh, antithesis of, of the gospel, you know, in the destruction of, of the baby. You know, this, this is my body. This is my choice. So I, I certainly see that inversion. I do have to correct you, though, when you say that there are... <laughs> Whenever I think of Jesus, my innie becomes an Audi. <laughs> <laughs> there are only a few Nazis running around Alabama. That's not, there are very many Nazis. Uh, they all work for the FBI. They're all informants. They're just feds, just fed Nazis spying on other fed Nazis. So it's a, a totally contrived issue. But, but there are many of them running around. And so you've got this problem in Canada, obviously part of the Anglosphere. And you fled. You fled Canada wisely, I think. And now you're down under. You're about as far away from Canada as one can possibly get. I always thought Australia was a good, virile, tough, manly culture. Bazinga. You inform me, the lockdowns there are just as bad as they are anywhere else. Oh, Australia is a lovely country, but I just came at the absolute <laughs> worst time, apparently. Uh, I thought- Loser! Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, can we just, can we just do this? Let's see if we can get him. Do, 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 do. Look at this, so today, Australia had 319 total new cases. Do you want to see what America had? Do you want to see what America had, everybody? Boom. 
Bum 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 bum. Here we go! Oh! One thousand one hundred and sixty-one thousand new cases. Three hundred and nineteen new cases. One hundred and sixty-one thousand. Shut up! I pressed oh, the wrong one. Bazinga. I pressed the wrong one. That's a spicy bazinga! I thought I would be riding crocodiles and fighting off giant spiders, but I've just been locked in my house the entire time because, yeah, they are, there are some of the worst restrictions in the world here in Australia. We're in the 700 lockdown at the moment. All the states um, not allowed to leave your house unless you have to go buy essential goods, and even so, it's only one person at a time. Just today, they banned browsing stores. So if you need to just oh, no. grab some food and- <laughs> Yeah, exactly. No, our store browsing. <laughs> I can't go window shop anymore. My life is so bad. Meanwhile, in America, 161,000 new sick people. We're like rapidly approaching 700,000 dead. And B Lauren's like, oh, but I can't window shop at, at fucking- What is a store? What are stores? Does anybody remember what stores exist? What's this meme? I can't do these memes in the middle of the segment. Macy's. Okay, there's Macy's. Yeah, I can't window shop it. Macy's. You don't need mayonnaise for that food. You're not allowed to go down the mayonnaise aisle. That is illegal <laughs> at the moment. Um, doubt. X to doubt. Only 10 people are allowed at a funeral at the moment. You can't travel interstate. It's masks. Every what's a, what's a, what's a, oh wait, hold on. Wait a minute. I got to remember. Uh, what's the name of that store? What's the name of the store that fucking Dank Pods goes to all the time? Cashies! Cashies! Yeah, you can't window shop at Cashies anymore! Fuck yeah! Where when you go out- I mean- You know, we've uh -huh. had restrictions for the times you can go out. So, like, from, you can only leave your house from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. in Victoria. Of course, COVID is far more uh, dangerous in, uh, in the middle of the night. We know this. <laughs> it gets facts. much worse. There's no question about it. You get, it obviously gets worse in the middle- no, it's because there's less reason to have shit open at nighttime and they don't want to have cops have to go around to fucking arrest you because you're going around coughing in people's fucking vents. Of the night, which I should note is when you are talking to me right now because of this time difference. Yeah, a young mother, uh, we are such sadists here at The Daily Wire that we're, we're having you wake up in the middle of the night, and but gr greatly appreciate it because I, I think there were a lot of people who believed that the COVID lockdowns were all just about getting Trump out. And I, I, think, I still largely think that. Yes, I do watch Dank Pods. I fucking love Dank Pods. It's true. But as a result, they believed that once Trump was gone, once Hell the yeah, big bad Dank guy Pods. was kicked out, we of have the, a one then everything would, would go away. I started to question that as the election got closer because I thought, you know, this was a big power grab. And, and people don't generally like to give up political power once, once they have taken it. So what's going to happen? We, we're now Wait, in the longest what 15... What power grab? The only power grab objectively on paper has been the fucking power grab of capital the fucking money that's been sucked upwards that's the only power grab we've seen that's the only fucking power grab we've seen in days in what are you talking about what is it, it did the democrat did sorry did donald trump grab the power to tell you to wear a mask inside what are you fucking talking about recorded history. We still apparently haven't slowed the spread. We're going to be slowing it for a long time. What is the end game here? Are we just living in, in mask world for the rest of our lives? Yes, because of people like you. Because of people like you. Go for it. Because of people like you, Michael Nowles. Yes. Oh, I have been asking this question for a long time, especially if you look at the UK right now that have some of the highest vac vaccination rates worldwide. I think they're, they're well over half the population vaccinated at the moment, and they're going through a COVID spike. So... We know, we have been informed, you still have to wear a mask. We still have to do these lockdowns, even when you're vaccinated, because you can still get COVID when you're vaccinated. So, <laughs> yeah, I guess we're doing this forever. Yep. I guess this is the forever lockdown. And you know what? If, if it does get to a point where they realize, okay, we're still having this spread with ha over half the population vaccinated, they're going to have to make the decision. We have to open up and we have to let it That's run its course so that we just get herd immunity. And how punishing will that be? How, how many stories... For two years, we have a people who missed their mother or father's death, the yep. birth of their child, the funerals, the weddings. The, I think there is going to Yum. be a reckoning if that happens. And I also think that's why the government have held out this long in doing these lockdown strategies is because it's like 
chasing bad money. They can't admit they were wrong because if they admit they were wrong, people are going to have a bone to pick. They weren't wrong, Lauren. You fucking moron. People didn't do it. People didn't fucking do it. Like 30% of the population still went out and fucking coughed lungs all over each other's faces and spit into fucking spittoons, which they then washed their babies in. People like you. That's why. It's your fault. It's literally your fault. It is people like you. You motherfuckers. We would have not, we would be out and enjoying our summer like a fucking normal life if it wasn't for you and your fucking ilk. Like, everyone, everyone has missed some massive event yeah. in their life that has catastrophically impacted their mental health. I actually know more people who have killed themselves this year than have died of COVID. Wow. I Is that the same friend, Lauren? Is that the one friend that you have? What a fucking piece of shit. Can you imagine? Hold on a second. Let's just pretend that Lauren isn't lying. How do you how do you think Lauren's friend feels about being used as a prop in her crusade to get more people killed? How do you think her friends who killed themselves feel about being used as a fucking political prop? Fuck you, Lauren. This is why I said this is the this is why I say that Lauren is a fucking ghoul and no one should respect her. No one should respect Lauren Southern. Just an absolute ghoul. I hope oh god, I hope oh I She deserves a worse fate than Milo Yiannopoulos. I'll say that much. You know, more I, I suppose I do too. Back. Yeah, I suppose I, I do as well. I mean and I, I you know I suspect I suspect that's true of, of a lot of people. Uh, you've seen uh, Deaths of despair spike, not just suicide, but uh, drug overdoses, all of those sorts of things. And the, the eggheads did it, right? I mean, this was the public health tyrants, Dr. Fauci, the high priest of progressivism, the pontiff. <laughs> the high priest of progressivism is Fauci? Uh, what? Eggheads did it, right? I mean, this was the public. No, it's the eggheads' fault. Public health tyrants, Dr. Fauci, the high priest of progressivism, the pontiff of, of our uh, scientific state. Whatever. <laughs> the pontiff of the scientific state. What? what is this? What are these words? What are these words? I don't know what is going on anymore. I'm lost. Help, someone. I'm lost. Where he decrees seems to go, and and this raises a real question of how we fight back because we seem to be arguing on the left's terms. What the left goes out there and says, they say the science mandates that we close all your churches. The science mandates that we keep the marijuana dispensary open, but we shut down the local church. The science mandates that. But that didn't happen. This isn't true though. This isn't, this is made up. They didn't make churches shut down. They just made, the only churches they made shut down were churches that refused to put in social distancing. That's it. And guess what? Marijuana dispensaries that didn't do sp uh, social distancing also got shut down. It's just your shitty church that refused to not get everybody sick. That you're not allowed to go outside, even if you're at statistically like zero risk of facing grave consequences from this virus because of your age. No one is at zero risk. There is no one who's even close to at zero risk. Long COVID affects people really bad. And there's still like an overall 5% death rate that decreases. But do you really, but like, this is for everyone everyone you walk outside and there's a chance of you infecting numerous people who then affect infect other people and one of those people gets sick and dies the fuck are you talking about circumstances and so the science is mandating a whole lot of of things that were formerly held in the realm of the political you know that it's it's actually not up to these eggheads to determine how i would like to make prudential judgments and live my life but, but i what? notice a lot of conservatives then arguing no one has told you that People have just said, you don't have the right to get other people sick in the middle of a fucking plague. From those premises and saying, no, the science says this, or no, the science says that. And my view is, who gives a damn what the science says? What does the politics say? What does the ethics say? What do the people say? Because uh, last time I checked, we still had a right to control our, our country. Right. I think this- Yeah, and guess what? Guess what? We do have a right to control our country, with, in quotes, with stars. We do have a right. And they chose Biden. Fuck you. They chose fucking Biden does touch into that larger question of basically, do we have a right to be completely safe from disease? Do we have a right to be basically in these hamster wheels of protection and, you know, fluff all the time, never facing any harm? What it's a single fucking pandemic. 
There's, nobody has asked you to live in a bubble, you idiot. God, these people are so embarrassing. Conservatives are so weak and embarrassing. Oh my God, I can't do it anymore, chat. I'm gonna cry. I gotta lose it, chat. I can't handle it. They're so stupid. It's making me wanna, it's making me wanna, it's making me wanna go insane. Whatsoever. We have a completely harm averse society. And is that now the government's duty to create that? Because we know that there will be another virus after hey, this. Hey, thank you, Polly Tacos for the raid. Virus, or a less, you know, a, a less severe virus. But then what, what question is it? What degree is it? Because with COVID, everyone said, well, if it just saves one life, if I wear a mask. So now no, every no, no. flu season. It's not just that. It's if you, if, if everybody wears a mask, you save 600,000 lives. Again, let me just, let's just do it again. Again. It's not just one life. It's not just one fucking life. Let's just take a look. I want everybody to remember, okay? Watch. Look. It's not just one fucking life. It's fucking how many? Where's the fatal cases? 629,000 deaths. Added 821 today. 821 more people died today. Do you know how bad that is? 821 more Americans died today. That is 821 dead people on the ground. Do you want to know what 821 people looks like? Is there like a visualizer I can find? Oh, there's a tool. Yes, there is. Ooh. Ooh. They've got a tool here. Look at this. Okay, sure. Let's see. 800. 800 people. This is volume. Wait. No. This is not right. How do I do it? This is not the right one. I wanted to find one. Someone give me a visualizer. I need a number visualizer. Yeah, 800 ragdolls. Give me it. I need somebody to give me this. I need a tool. I want people to visualize this. I want people to see. Oh, hey. Maybe this is it. Oh, hey. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Here's a good one. This is a perfect image. This is a website that lets you visualize crowd sizes. This right here. This image right here that you're looking at right here is 1,000 people. This is approximately how many people are dead today. Today. This room in just America, all of these people would be dead. Every day. Let's see if I've got a bigger one. Do you want to see how big the number is? If we can, let's see what we can get. If we've got, here we go. This is it. Wait, hold on. What's the biggest crowd? This is the biggest crowd possible that they have on here. Okay. This is 120,000 people. Now I want you to imagine six times this, this crowd, six of this crowd would be how many people have died from COVID in America over the last mother fucking year. Okay. Over the last fucking year. Okay. So, yeah, you know, it's, it's a bit odd, all that, isn't it? Isn't that a bit fucking odd? Where did my stream, where did my fucking chat go? Here it is. It was like a 9-11 every single day. Yeah, this crowd, this crowd right here that you see, all of this, just bodies piled, piled, piled. Okay? Just a bit fucking sussy. Do we lock down because that could potentially save just one life? Why didn't we lock down during the swine flu? Why didn't we? There are so many yeah. questions of just general philosophical debate, political debate that come from this that I do not think the left have answers for. I do not think the people who have put us through this for nearly two years now have answers to these questions. I really think that uh, another What are you fucking talking about? What is your answer? Your answer is literally in this. Your answer has been get sick and die that's your answer our answer is hey if we all stay inside for a month the disease will never spread 
Your answer is 600,000 dead. You had your chance. You killed all of these people. You fucking ghouls. of this them chasing bad money i also think is the tail wagging the dog the media are controlling the government by making all of these politicians terrified of getting a headline that says this politician killed your grandma this politician is the reason fifty thousand yeah. people died i want this exact thing but with lauren southern's face michael Nowell's face tim pool tucker carlson donald trump you are the ones who killed all of them you people who engaged in denial are the killers. You told people to go out and get sick. You lied to them when we knew otherwise. You are the people. Fucking, and yeah, so wanted they are posters. Only doing these, even though they have numbers, guys, that would tell them this lockdown is going to kill way more people than it's going to save just based on economic fallout. Look at the third. That's not true, though. That's fucking not true. Third world, Oxfam put out a report saying literally millions are going to die of starvation due to economic fallout from that. Yes, because you failed to lock down. Millions are going to die because of economic fallout because you idiots failed to lock down. It would have been preventable, but now it's not. And now you're going to pay the price. But... These politicians know that's not going to be an article during their election season. That's going to be five years from this idiot said that she was for herd immunity. She apparently ignored what Sweden found out that herd immunity solution does not work and leads to death. Yeah. Yep. So, all right. Best thing to do, lock everyone in their houses and save myself from a bad New York Times story. This was Terrifying why stuff. this was why Trump was in this impossible situation where I think his gut told him. Don't lock down. If you're going to lock down, don't let them surpass the two or three weeks. Don't. They're never going to give up this power. Two or three weeks. We never did the lockdowns. Donald Trump denied it all the way along until there were hundreds of thousands dead. And now we're, cl we're closing in on 650,000 dead. But he was in this position where had he not yep, gone it'll along. Be, what, what's the quote? Yep. The quote, it'll be gone by Easter. Wow, holy shit. Here you go. This is a good image. Silence says, here's an image of the Pontiac Silverdome had 78,000 people during uh, during WrestleMania 3, which is in this picture. That means that enough people have died of COVID in the United States to fill this Silverdome eight times. Dead with the dead. Eight times over with the dead. There we go. There's another little visualization for you. With whatever. Because of this motherfucker right here. Because of this fucking rotting pumpkin. Because of this rotting pumpkin and his little stooges like Lauren and Michael. That's why. That's why we live in this fucking hell. Because of Donald Trump and his fucking minions. And never fucking forget that. Never forget that. For the rest of your life. Just know that the mass death around us. That the fucking state of the world is because of these motherfucking people. And these motherfucking people, guess what? They've got bodies. They've got fucking businesses. They've got fucking dirty secrets. 99 year old would have been blamed on him because of his callousness on COVID. So it's a very difficult position and the, the threat of the media is big here. And I, I like your point on this philosophical issue. It kind of kind of brings me to, to a, a great point that I saw you make just a few months ago. You know, our pal Ben Shapiro, Made, has this very famous slogan, facts don't care about your feelings. It's obviously true when you're talking about, say, Bruce Jenner. Bruce Jenner feels like he's a woman, but he's not really a woman. He's a man, and the reality of that doesn't care about his feelings. What the fuck? What the fuck does, what the fuck does Caitlyn Jenner have to do with anything? What are you fucking talking about? You made this point in a, in a terrific video. You said, it's also true feelings don't care about your facts, that politics has quite a lot to do with feelings. I actually made the same point in my recent book. It does, doesn't negate Ben's perfectly obvious observation, but it does add another aspect here. And I think this gets to the problem that conservatives have had for not just a few decades, but actually a few centuries, going back to that jerk David Hume, where we, we don't have the confidence any longer to derive moral truths from the world. We, we seem not to be willing to... What? Are you fucking... What is this? I am so fucking confused. How do I even analyze this? I am so confused to what they're even saying. This is like, is this like a hypnotic induction where they're trying to make you confused so your brain shuts off? To say that uh, you should do this and you shouldn't do that. We're, we're stuck in this scientific culture 
where the eggheads rule, because all we're allowed to know is that, for instance, well, this heads. is a tumbler, and I know that this is a tumbler, but I'm not allowed to derive any any tr uh, metaphysical truth from the tumbler. I can't know, for instance, that the tumbler is for drinking. I can't know. Because it, what if it's not for drinking? What are you fucking talking about? This is this is just nonsense. This is un, just un, unabashed nonsense. It makes me want to die. Quite frankly. <laughs> True! Oh, this is great! Assimilate, assimilate, assimilate. Fucking truers! Oh my god! No, I said I want to die. I said I want to die. That's different. For instance, that uh, my body parts have various purposes and they shouldn't be put to other purposes. We, we. Wait, what? Look at Lauren right now. Lauren's like, oh my god, I fucking hate this guy. Look, here's something I happen to know about Lauren, okay? Lauren likes him crazy, okay? You know you know, you know who Lauren allegedly banged? Fucking PJW. A, a literal stinky hermit who doesn't shower. Lauren likes him fucking cuckoo. Lauren likes him crazy, okay? She's got a soft spot for the kooks. Yeah, can you imagine... Yeah, she left a 1488 Tiffany bracelet in his, at his place. PJW, Paul Joseph Watson. She's. Have you ever seen the video of her on the date with the Nazi where she's like, her brain is shutting off? Seem to have surrendered the, the basis of politics. As Cardinal Manning says, all human conflict. All what? Who, who is this guy? Why do, why do I have a picture of a lich up there? Is this the villain? Well, is theological. But do conservatives ever make those arguments anymore? No, they only ever seem to defend free speech in the abstract. They never say anything really concrete in theory. And the only thing they ever manage to push for of substance in politics is another tax cut, I guess. But, but, but beyond that, we seem to have lost our, our moral reasoning. And the left sure has. And I see the left making moral arguments all the time. Yeah, you know, a lot of people talk about the fear they have of us becoming these nameless, faceless, genderless, nationless, gray check marks on a... Poggers. Government data book if we embrace. Yeah, totally. Embrace the leftist. Uh, Genderless, nationless, borderless, unrestrained, humanity in its truest form, capable of shaping itself in its own image. Yes, Lauren, we embrace gender ascensionism and we will surpass you. And how? But I fear us just becoming breeding coal mine working, Consuming. corporate machines, yeah. just consumers, also just on a business. Remember, these are the people who just fawningly, remember, these are the people who just fucking fawningly praised Donald Trump, who literally talked about, who's, Donald Trump, who who would refuse to let people do anything but work. And yet they're like, wow, we, we're just gonna be mining, coal mining breeders. We're just gonna be, uh, Donald Trump, pandemic comes into town. Go back to work, fuckers. Oh my God. Checkbook, if we go yeah. the way that conservatism is going at the moment, we are human beings with souls. Our purpose is not politics. Our purpose is not conservatism. I've had people, I remember meeting them over the last oh, few years. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Uh oh, Mike's detected a word. Oh, our purpose is not conservative. Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. Uh oh, that's not approved when I was engaged in all of these political events and the one thing driving them was the cause whether it be Trumpism or conservatism and I'm uh -oh. like oh his his producer just pointed a gun at him fix this that's why his that's why he's making this face right now his producers like fix it you motherfucker fix this like, that she's is going wrong. off script you've got it backwards I am a mother first. I am a Christian first. I am a part of my community first. And then I'm only a conservative because- Oh I yeah, I bet Lauren is such a part of her community. Oh, I bet Lauren spends all her time in what? In Australia, where she is having shrimp on the Barbie with her neighbors all the time. I care about these things and I think it will make these things better in my life. And I love these things irrationally. I love my child irrationally. Night, I don't Bean. care if the odds of saving my son's life were a million to one and I would maybe die if I did something. I would take those odds every time, even no, though the then fact- Then put on your fucking mask, you piece of shit. Didn't tell me that. We are motivated by feelings. We are motivated then by- put on your mask, and morality, you idiot. Non-tangible themes that you were just talking about. And 
we really do need to tap back into that as conservatives. We need to tap into our artistic side, the side that communicates to the soul. Because there's that great quote, I think it was actually from a billboard advertisement that said, people don't care how much. <laughs> there was this great quote from a billboard advertisement. Yeah, we conservatives really need to reconnect with our, sh our soul. Now let me quote you a billboard advertisement for Ralph Lauren. <laughs> Fuck you, Lauren. Okay, I've had enough. I can't do any more of this. I can't fucking do it anymore. I'm done, chat. I've lost my shit. Holy shit.